So we've got five and six in here. This is the mate brother to the two Polands we just had in here last time. Uh, and then we've got the start of the Hampshire uh, swarm. This is lot six, 17-2 would be that one. But Nolan has got lot five hooked up right now. That's 16-6. .6. Poland male. That is another Johnny Cash. I told you so. Out of the old Wendish sow, we call her. Uh, very good pig. The Hampshire is a black stone all day. The mother of that one would have raised the guilt that showed in Missouri last year that the Wade family campaigned. Uh, and I think she won the points in Missouri last year. What's your thoughts, Bryce? So we dropped this other bear in here, uh, you know, a uh, different type of bear in my personal opinion that, that still fits the build uh, of balance and build and look from the side, a bear that's maybe just a little bit taller shouldered than his mate, maybe just a little bit slicker in terms of his head. Uh, you know, for me, I think this bear is going to have to show a little bit at a heavier weight, uh, but I think uh, he's one that is very manufacturable from a feed bucket perspective, another balance and build hog that has muscle. Uh, he's got a good shape out of the backside of his shoulder. He's still very square off either end of his skeleton. And, you know, like I said before, he, he is going to be a little bit of a bigger pig. But I think that one is so comfortable as you take him to the surface. Uh, that's a flat-backed, level-hipped one that can still push and bend out of his rear leg like real pigs should. But sometimes we struggle with that in the Poland breed. And I think that one does that extremely well. Uh, I like that bear. I think he's very feedable. I don't think, uh, you know, he maybe just is as bulky today. But I think wow. if you look at the two men, Mates, this one's going to come with it and come with it hard and punch especially, somebody in the mouth that later in the summer. Especially with having State Fair gaining up in the weight limit. Absolutely. So that one's going to be able to feed all summer long. Uh, but boy, oh boy, wow, Nolan got that one hooked up. He got him hooked up huh. quick, and it's huh. it's real easy to see uh, why we like this one so well. And I told Andy before we started that I was really excited because he didn't make me go through the set beforehand, and it's first impressions for me. Um, you know, uh, come here and look at pigs all the time, but uh, the first impression on some of these is so, so fun to see. You see that one propped up from the side, and man, that thing's got razor ears and a cute show bear ahead. He's still got a big fat arm in him i love this bear's lower skeleton and how he takes it to the surface he's fat and dense in the lower portion of his forerib awesome in terms of his center rib cage that thing's got a big whiskey barrel rib laid in him with a good shape up high but the best part about him in my personal opinion he's got a big shape but man he's so flexible in his spine and so comfortable out of the back side of his shoulder i love his rear leg and just how his, he motivates out of his rear leg he pushes all the way to the the surface and triple extends as he pushes uh, from behind, which I think is very, very cool for a Hampshire bear. I'm kind of wondering myself right now on why I'm with it. Yeah, I'm going to say this a lot today. I think if that one looks like that in this pen, uh, why I'm cutting that. Uh, I think a lot of Hampshire people should probably be intrigued by this. And if you're wanting to be very competitive in the Hampshire bears, uh, I think we might have one of the best sets of hampshires we've ever raised. If this if this is the and that's first one that we're seeing. That's saying a lot. Uh, uh, we've done some fairly decent things in the hamps, but if that's the first hampshire we're running in in this group and they look like that, I think we're in for a fun treat today. Absolutely. I'm extremely excited to get into the rest of them. Uh, we'll get into seven and eight here, but, uh, I mean, as this one cocks off and comes directly at the camera, and if Nolan can keep him hooked and, and go away, I think that one is very comfortable at the surface. I like this bear a great deal. Don't get caught sleeping on him or watching the paint dry or whatever catchphrase you want to use. That's a good show pig.